Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what autism spectrum disorder is, its causes, characteristics, comorbidities, symptoms, autism and epilepsy, and treatment options and outcomes. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. According to the American Psychiatric Association, autism spectrum disorder is an umbrella term that encompasses various developmental disabilities. This diagnosis covers different levels of autism, including Asperger's syndrome and pervasive developmental disorder, which are considered separate conditions under the previous iterations of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. While statistics vary significantly, the prevalence of epilepsy rate in individuals with autism spectrum disorder range from 4 to 38%. In children, this co-occurrence is associated with intellectual disability and lower socioeconomic status. The etiology of autism spectrum disorder is unclear, but research suggests that a combination of environmental and genetic factors could be at play. Supporting this link, recent identical twin studies have reported between 64 to 91 percent chance of both twins having autism spectrum disorder. No form of autism is caused by the administration of vaccines. Characteristics of autism spectrum disorder include social communication difficulties, poor social awareness, poor interaction skills, and preoccupation with restricted or repetitive behaviors. These traits generally appear in early childhood, but autism can be diagnosed at any age. Individuals with autism spectrum disorder also tend to show heightened interest in specific areas and little to no interest in activities unrelated to said areas. Lesser characteristics include delayed language, motor and cognitive skills, hyperactive and or inattentive behavior, epilepsy and seizure disorder, as well as unusual fear, emotional, and mood responsiveness. Autism spectrum disorder can prevent itself with a comorbid intellectual development and or language impairment. Being female also represents a risk factor for autism. Diagnosis for autism spectrum disorder generally includes medical exams and assessments as there is no regulated distinctive instrument that can be used to identify the condition. Symptoms can also vary with respect to age, verbal, and intellectual ability, and disorder severity, but people with autism spectrum disorder tend to struggle with establishing and maintaining eye contact, engaging in reciprocal social interaction, adopting context-appropriate social behavior, coping with changes in routine, maintaining age-appropriate friendships, and discerning and acting on gestures and nonverbal social cues. Approximately 30% of individuals with either autism spectrum disorder or epilepsy are affected by the other disorder. However, despite evidence suggesting that prevalence rates in either population are higher than in the general public, combined epilepsy and autism are frequently left undiagnosed. In cases where autism-consistent difficulties succeeded epilepsy onset, delayed emergence of developmental deficits might hinder the likeliness of receiving an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. Studies have suggested that epilepsy and autism spectrum disorder rely on some of the same neurobiological networks independent of the presence of an intellectual disability. Emerging research in this area hopes to facilitate the development of diagnostic instruments 
and therapeutic strategies that could improve the prognosis of individuals affected by this comorbidity. Animal studies have already identified models to explore the neural mechanisms underlining combined autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy symptomology by measuring observable behavior in rodents experiencing epileptiform brain activity. There is no standard treatment for autism spectrum disorder. However, structured interventions can improve target abilities for social interaction or behavioral deficits. Certain treatment procedures have been flagged as ineffective or harmful, but skilled learning strategies tend to be beneficial. In terms of treatment outcomes, there is currently not enough evidence supporting the benefits of drug treatment in people with both epilepsy and autism spectrum disorder. Contrastingly, behavioral interventions such as acceptance and commitment therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy report higher well-being levels and quality of life and yield positive results in terms of behavioral and mood outcomes in participants with epilepsy, providing promising therapeutic recommendations for individuals affected by autism spectrum disorder symptoms and epileptic form activity. In conclusion, autism spectrum disorder and epilepsy are highly co-occurring conditions that together often go underdiagnosed. Despite there being no cure for these disorders, further research on their association can provide beneficial care and management strategies for people affected by this comorbidity. To learn more about autism spectrum disorder, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.